Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through Euler directed graph. So I hope everyone watched the Euler normal graph, right? So Euler undirected graph or Euler Eulerian graph in simple words you can say. Okay. So in this lecture, let us go through Eulerian directed graph. So here the directions are given. So these problems will be a bit complex when compared with the normal problems. So it is the same as the Eulerian graph. Okay. With the directions, that's the only thing. So if you recall the Eulerian, so I told you E means E. So E means it should visit each and every edge exactly once. Okay. So if you just write the conditions here, so it should be a closed walk. It should traverse with every, every edge, right? Okay. There is no repetition of edge. Vertices can repeat. Directed Euler cycle should be there to solve it. Okay. So if you take a small example, it is nothing but A, B, C, D. Right. So if you go in the exact path, it is a closed. It is a no edge repeated. Okay. So that's what it is written here. A to 1, B to 2, C to 3, D to 4, 4 to A. So you completed the cycle. It is closed. Yes. So no edge repeated. Yes. Directed closed walk. Yes. Hence, you can conclude that it is a Euler directed graph. Yes. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So, in, so let us continue with one more example. So here the thing that you should remember is you should start and end with the same vertex guys. Only then it can become a Eulerian graph. Okay. Sorry, Eulerian directed graph. Okay. So if you take this example, you can come out of E, but you cannot come inside, right? So in these kind of situations, you can directly by observing also, you can say it is not a Eulerian directed graph or you can take some example. So here you tried to start from A. You ended at A, but you missed E guys because you cannot go inside E. You can only go from outside E because it is a directed. So these kind of things can be observed directly. So if you start from E, you ended at D. From D, you cannot move on to A, right? That's the issue. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea about Eulerian directed graph. Guys, I hope everyone watched the Euler graph guys, the, the basic undirected Euler graph. So if you are having a clear idea about that, it's just a piece of cake for you about Eulerian directed graph also. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. We'll be discussing about Hamiltonian directed graph. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.